one of the most frequent questions we're asked is, what does that free select button do? Well, the manual describes this as, when active, it enables MIDI modulation of a subparameter, such as the LFO amplitude slider or the extra ADSR attack time slider, etc. Now, that's reasonably clear, but in the interest of absolute clarity, here's a video tutorial that shows you rather than tells you. So let's say we want to assign the mod wheel to, say, pitch modulation, but we don't want to give up our third oscillator. Now this is where the free select button comes in, and because we want to modulate all three oscillators, we click on the global tune knob and check that this is indicated in the parameter name window. We then select the free select button, and this now allows us to modulate any subparameter of the tune knob, LFO or ADSR. Click on the amplitude amount and you'll see tune LFO amount appear in the parameter name window. You can then assign this to the modulation wheel via the MIDI source list here. And again, we can see that this has been done by the red LED above the amplitude amount. We then apply a degree of sensitivity and check it out. Cool. So that's pitch modulation, but we can also apply this to the filter as well. So let's click on cutoff frequency and again check that this appears in the parameter name window. Our free select button is already on, so we can fly across and click on the LFO amplitude slider. And instantly we see that we have VCO cutoff LFO amount in this window. We then assign that to the modulation wheel and apply a degree of sensitivity. So with the two settings, we now have control over pitch and filter modulation without having to give up the third oscillator as per the original Minimoog.